The Ink Call is a series of graphic novels written by Alejandro Jodorowsky and originally illustrated by Mobius. It is an epic space opera that combines a fantastic intergalactic journey, science, technology, political intrigue, conspiracies, messianism, mysticism, poetry, debauchery, love stories, and satire. The story of the Ink Hall begins with the Chilean filmmaker and writer Alejandro Jodorowsky, known for his prolific work in avant-garde cinema. In the early 70s, he had risen to prominence with films like El Topo and The Holy Mountain. This one had been especially successful in several European countries. This gave him the opportunity to aspire for a bigger production, much bigger production. In 1975, Hodorowsky was working on the pre-production of the adaptation of Frank Herbert's book, Dune. For this, he wanted to make an illustrated script where not only will be the dialogues and the description of the action, but drawn images of each shot and camera movement. For this, he needed a comic artist. When he saw the Blueberry comic drawn by an artist called Giro, the sequences of the comic fascinated him and he knew that this was the person he was looking for. At that time, contacting people was much more complicated. That's how Hodorowsky went to the office of his agent to help him in his search, and as if they were fated to meet, Alejandro Hodorowsky found Jan Giraud in that office by chance. They began to work tirelessly in a castle rented by the producer of the film. Hodorowsky's adaptation of Dune was far away from Frank Herbert's concept. It was his own vision, a very personal, eccentric, original and unique vision, even for our times. All this is reflected in Mobius drawings. It is well known that the film was not made for several reasons, among them the economic factor. It was a film ahead of its time, and it was difficult for big producers to risk so much money in a science fiction film with characteristics never seen before. Also, the big Hollywood studios did not trust in the vision and personality of Alejandro. But the ideas of that script would not remain forgotten in a drawer. The Chilean filmmaker transferred those ideas to a story for a comic book which would also feature Mobius. The first pages of the Inca were initially published as the An Adventure of John the Fool in the French magazine Metal Harland. Being a story by Alejandro Jodorowsky, and usual in most of his works, it is an odyssey, a path of discovery and redemption that an early character made to access a higher stage of consciousness. All this is magnified by a futuristic design, the graphic narrative, and the absolutely spectacular art offered by the brilliant Mobius. The Incal is not only based on Hodorowsky's ideas for Dune, but also on Mobius' previous works such as Arzak and The Long Tomorrow, which further enriches an already extraordinary story. The plot is about John the Fool, a small-time detective who upon receiving a strange object must confront with having proposed the high powers of the cosmos. With the help of the strange bird he has as a companion, he will be able to move in the field of metaphysics. Their inquiries will lead them through a world of heroic adventure and symbols, personal fulfillment through enlightenment. In his initiatory journey, he will go through a different stages. First, he will have to find his inner courage and find his allies with who he will witness a revolution against the nobility, visit the center of the planet and seduce an alien queen to avoid an intergalactic war. John the Fool, a class R licensed private investigator and occasional bodyguard, the Fool is reluctant to assume the role of hero and suffers from mood swings, self-doubt, and tempered tantrums. He has fondness for cigars. He is a common character, 
both usually condemnatory and praising of the human condition, kind, self-sacrificing, and selfish, prone to running away. Depo, the fool's loyal and good-natured concrete seagull, generally smarter and more resourceful than John himself. Anima Antanara, two sisters charged with protecting the light and dark in calls, respectively, of which Tanara hired the Meta Baron to kill John the Fool and obtain the light in call. The Meta Baron, the greatest bounty hunter, mercenary and combat ace in the No Universe sent to kill John the Fool. Saloon, the adopted son of the Meta Baron and the biological son of Anima and John the Fool like Anima Salyun has immense psychic powers. The work consists of 312 pages in 6 volumes, The Black Incal, The Luminous Incal, What Lies Beneath, What Is Above, The Fifth Essence, The Dreaming Galaxy, The Fifth Essence, Planet the Fool, in addition to completing the story, two more sagas were made before the Incal with the comic artist Soran Jan Jetov. This saga tells the childhood of John the Fool. And final Incal with Jose Ladron as the artist. This last saga rewrites the story began in after the Incal and tells the events after the original saga, connecting with elements and characters from before the Incal. In the 80s, the Canadian animation director Pascal Blais created a short trailer for The Incal, but the movie was never made. US black metal band Bihargam released the album Ove Tenebrae as a musical adaptation of The Incal on October 16, 2020. In 2021, Hodorowsky officially announced a big screen adaptation by Taika Waititi. The Incal present us with one of the best duos in the world of comics. After the failure of Dune, Hodorowsky and Mobius knew how to reinvent the concept and create a work that combines almost perfectly all the dramatic and artistic currents of the convulsive and fertile decade of the 80s. Throughout the saga, society, civilizations, and planets are described perfectly structured and with their amazing details, with a story loaded with a particular sense of humor, used as a counterpoint to the philosophical and mystical transcendence of the series. A universal European work that has influenced several generations of readers and artists and will surely continue to do so for a long time to come.